the Episcopal Church, like many faith communities, has a long history of energy and advocacy toward debt cancellation. Partners with you around debt cancellation for poor countries. Seeing it as a part of the ancient commands of Jubilee and of Sabbath given by God to Moses and taken up by Jesus when he spoke of proclaiming the year of the Lord's favor. For many Episcopalians, and I would put myself in this category, the Jubilee 2000 campaign was a formative moment in our trajectory toward being committed advocates for justice and peace in the world, and in particular, the present engagement and advocacy for the Millennium Development Goals, priority of our church. As Episcopalians, our membership in the Anglican Communion and our close partnership with tens of millions of Anglicans who live in the developing world make debt cancellation a very, very personal cause for this church. Archbishop Desmond Tutu has called debt the new apartheid and a crime against humanity because of the way in which it creates a cycle of extreme poverty from which countries cannot escape. Debt cancellation is absolutely fundamental to the fight against extreme poverty and disease around the world. Consider this example. The United States this year will spend more than $5 billion helping the developing world fight AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria. Countries that benefit from this $5 billion, however, will, in the same year, spend more than $9 billion repaying debt to rich countries and to financial institutions like the IMF and the World Bank. By contrast, recent history tells us that when developing countries see their debts canceled, progress in the fight against poverty and disease come almost overnight. The debt cancellation made possible by Jubilee 2000 helped bring clean water to 2.2 million Ugandans, an 80% increase in childhood vaccinations in Mozambique, and an exponential increase in primary school enrollments in Tanzania and Benin. Now, as the world stands just seven years from the completion point of the Millennium Development Goals, it's time for other countries to have the same opportunity. We are delighted that the new Jubilee Act in Congress targets 67 countries for whom immediate and full debt cancellation is necessary in order to meet the MDGs by 2015. And we are particularly thankful for the leaderships of Representatives Maxine Waters and Spencer Bacchus, and my own Senator Christopher Dodd and Richard Luger in bringing about this vital legislation. Across the country, <coughs> Episcopalians pledge ourselves to take action in the coming months to ensure that every member of Congress hears that the time for debt cancellation is now. Let us pray. Gracious and most holy God, your mercies are new every morning. You created us in your image as one humanity, your family, yet we exploit one another. Your purpose for all people is health and wholeness. Lead us into Jubilee that we may claim new ways to relate to one another and to claim your freedom. Give us the strength and passion to provide a vehicle of hope for the poorest of the poor through legislation for expanded debt cancellation. Inspire us, O oh God, of many names and many cultures, never to rest until the deadly grip of poverty is ended and all people may live into your peace. Amen. Amen. Amen.